But the Prophet ﷺ, nothing was from him impure. So he thought that drinking the blood, the Prophet ﷺ blood would never be impure, would never be najis. Therefore he allowed himself to drink it. And he came to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, don't worry, I put it in the place, nobody will find it. Where? He said, inside my stomach. The Prophet ﷺ had cupping, which is hijama, and the blood comes out, he gave it to Az-Zubayr. They said, therefore, Az-Zubayr was so brave, nobody like him. Rahimahullah wa radiyallahu anhu. Also, the Prophet ﷺ saw the blessing of the Prophet ﷺ body is only for him. It's not allowed to take the blessing or barakah from somebody else. And also the Prophet Sallallahu hair or uh, whatever from his body, uh, like his hair or his nails, nothing left up to today. There is nobody had any one of the Prophet Sallallahu hair or something like that. And they claim that they have some of the Rasul hair in, uh, in, uh, Turkey, in Turkey, but this is not true. It's not true. This is not the Prophet ﷺ's hair. All the Prophet ﷺ's hair war was uh, disappeared and uh, nobody know where is it. There is no one can prove that this is the Prophet ﷺ hair at all. Nobody can prove that. So we don't accept it without a proof. Anyway, uh, also the Prophet ﷺ, one of the quality of the Prophet ﷺ body that the Prophet ﷺ body will remain as it is in his grave, it will not change. Will not change. The, not like regular bodies, after a while change. Uh, and the, the worm or what the, the earth are eating it or observing it, no. The Prophet ﷺ's body will remain as it is in his grave until the Day of Judgment. Therefore, the Jewish tried in the Ottoman's time to steal the Prophet ﷺ's body. And they sent two Moroccans Jewish to Medina in the time of Hajj. And they were trying to dig a hole or a tunnel underneath of the masjid from their home all the way to the Prophet ﷺ's masjid to come and to try to enter the Prophet ﷺ's room where he was buried ﷺ to steal his body. But alhamdulillah, they, could, they didn't. And after that, the Ottomans, what they did, they put steel around the Prophet ﷺ grave from uh, the pace, from the ground. So nobody can go through it. Also, one of the qualities of the Prophet ﷺ, what you hear about his prophecy seals, which exist in his uh, back, sallallahu alayhi wa or in his shoulder, between his shoulder. One of the special quality of the Prophet ﷺ is that in his grave, when somebody said, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad, kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim, Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad, kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim, when you said this dua, there is an angel, will tell the Prophet sallam that such and such person and so and so person made salat on you. And this is something special for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Also one of the quality of the Prophet sallallahu body, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he sleeps, he does not break his wudu. Not like us when you sleep, you break your wudu, because you have no control over your body. But the Prophet sallallahu when he sleeps, he doesn't break his wudu. Therefore, when he sleeps, he might go straight to pray. He doesn't need to make wudu, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even though he used to do, but he doesn't need. He used to say, يَنَامُ تَنَامُ عَيْنِي وَلَا يَنَامُ قَلْبِي My eyes will sleep, I'll sleep, like my eyes will be closed, but my heart will be awake, aware. One of the special quality of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his body, أَنَّ النَّبِيَّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمُ قَدْ أُوْتِيَ قُوَّةَ مِئَةً مِنَ الرِّجَالِ فِي الْجِمَاعِ صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is also one of the quality of his body 
that he is, has a strong body. He would be giving a power of a hundred men, a sexual power, like his sexual power is equal to a hundred men. He, he can, uh, yani he had intercourse hundred times, sallallahu alayhi wa if he wish. And therefore you see in some of the narration, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he might sleep with his nine of his wives in the same time, in the same day. And this is something not equal for anybody to have this kind of powerful. And this is not something to show that the Prophet sallallahu was uh, a person who his main concern is the, the, the sex or the sex relationship. No. It is something been described, especially in, in, the, in that time. It's something good in the men. When he be described in that, he's powerful. And up to date, something that person proud of as a man is something the man is proud of that he is powerful, or he's, he's power, or he's a strong man. And also it is because the Prophet ﷺ, as you know, he had this large number of wives for a wisdom. We might mention it when we're talking about him wasallam. So he'd been giving this power wasallam, and also it'd been given to the other prophets before him. Also one of the special quality of the Prophet Sallallahu body that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's body was so strong he used to fast several days continuing without eating anything without eating anything and he told the Sahaba I'm able to do that because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give me the power of this Allah give me food and drink in a special way without eating or drinking. So I don't feel hungry or thirst. Been feed through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a special way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only knows how. One of the Prophet Sallallahu quality also that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi able to see what is in behind him like what he sees what is in front of him in the same times. He see what is in behind of him in the back, as if he see what is in front of him. Some scholars said this is, was only in the salat during the prayer. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إني لا أرى من خلفي كما أرى من أمامي. And this is authentic في البخاري وغيره that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم used to see during the salat what is his companion doing during the salat, even though he facing the qibla. Is this also? Outside of the salat, in his regular life, here in this part we say, Allah only knows this. We don't have a clear evidence to support this uh, point. One of the quality they mentioned and has no proof as far as I know, they said the Prophet had no shade. His body had no shade. لا ظل للنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم but there is no proof for that. Also they said that the earth will observe his thesis Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam right away. It will take it and will like, suck it down. In the same times, it will not remain on, on, on the ground. And there is no proof for that. Also they said the Prophet 